apparently one of the easier things to make at home is cottage cheese. It just requires milk and vinegar. Well, guess what today? My curious brain is wondering, can we make eggnog cottage cheese? Let's find out. Cooking for one has never been so fun. If you don't know what to make, it's never too late. The bachelor's fridge is kicking up the jam. jellies I'll put the recipe for cottage cheese up on the screen but seriously it's like the simplest thing in the world you heat up your milk and you add your vinegar and then there's some waiting so uh, this shouldn't be too hard let's make eggnog cottage cheese in goes the nog can't wait for it oh yeah there's that classic color yeah baby uh, now apparently you have to stir the holy hell out of it so it doesn't stick to the bottom and burn. That probably goes doubly true for eggnog. So let's get a whisk. A whisk. Heat to 190 degrees. In case you're wondering, I got my eggnog from the new milk delivery service. Sweeping the nation. They deliver milk by drones. It's called Dairy Air. If that service was real, it would probably be the butt of many jokes. That is looking uh, pretty up to temperature. Now is where the rubber meets the road. We see if uh, vinegar reacts the same way with milk and eggnog. Hold on to your butts, your derriere. Here we go. Annie McEnderson. Then there's waiting. It's a 30 minute wait. So, you know. You know, so back to that Breaking Bad episode you were watching. All right. I'm gonna cover this and let's check back. A half hour later. All right, I wanna be just as surprised as you if this worked. So, let's take a look. It's been 30 minutes. Mmm, I don't see chunks. I don't see chunks, but let's, uh, ooh, okay, um, no. <laughs> At the very least, you know we're going to drink it. So, <laughs> let's get this in the cheesecloth and see what happens. So the next step, they would have you pour it into uh, a colander lined with cheesecloth and then strain it, presumably because all of the really good uh, cottage cheese nugs would be left behind, <laughs> but I'm not seeing any. All right, we're gonna go through the motions anyway. Yo. Haha. <laughs> mmm, cottage nog. Cottage nog? I guess that's what you would call this. Uh, ooh, it is hot. It's still very hot. You know, you can't be afraid to fail. You got to take a chance. They didn't invent penicillin by not trying to make penicillin. So here we go. Uh, cottage nog in a glass. Going with Harmony Smurf today. You know what? It looks like punch. So let's do it like punch. It's a little holiday drink for you and the family this season. If it's any good, you know, do it. But there's some, there's a certain amount of cottage nog in a Harmony Smurf glass. Mm. Warm, actually, it tastes pretty good. I might, I might officially suggest that you add apple cider vinegar to your eggnog this holiday season. A cottage cheese it is not, but it's pretty dang good. It had to happen. Never being one to leave well enough alone. One must ultimately know 
what eggnog cottage cheese tastes like. So here we go. Yes, no, maybe. Mm -hmm. Stir it, give it the old stirry mixtures in. All right, kids. Get a good look. <laughs> Not bad. It was like a sweet cottage cheese. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like Little Miss Muffet at Christmas time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do it. Sit on your tuffet. Any other crazy ideas I should try? Obviously let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, share, tell your friends. Tell your mom, tell your dad, tell Santa this year. I don't know. Anyway, happy holidays. You're the best. Cheers to the new year. Uh, I'll check in with you next week like I always do. Not bad. Really. I'm going to save this and drink it.